We're at Cambridge Airport and with Kennedy Ricky, the president of Four Air, the sustainability aviation solutions business, uh, with the Pixel Velis Electro. Can you explain a little bit, Kennedy, about what's different about this aircraft from a conventional two seat trainer that we might expect to see? So this is the first fully uh, electric certified aircraft. It's certified now in the UK and in Europe. Uh, just recently certified in the US last March, I believe. So you've got two batteries, one in the back of the aircraft, one in the front of the aircraft. It'll get about an hour's worth of endurance out of that. About 20 minutes needs to be reserved. So about 30, 35 minutes of flight, we're able to get out of the aircraft. Uh, it's come around as a wonderful training platform. Uh, it's one of the most simple aircraft, you know, to fly. Uh, the engine management is much simpler on electric aircraft than a traditional. So if you look inside the aircraft, you've got kind of four switches. Those four switches are everything you need to do from uh, startup to being able to be ready for taxi. So there's no, you know, mixture to lean. There's no engine to manage. There's no mags to check. It is a very simple uh, aircraft to manage. So you get to really focus on the flight, the flight portion is the stick and rudder skills with the aircraft. So from a training perspective, this is way simpler to fly. Uh, you also notice a, a major noise benefit. So, you know, you've got other aircraft at the airport. They're sitting around. They've got the repeller running, the engine running. Uh, you know, great example over there. This aircraft, unless you're moving, the propeller is not turning. So it's much quieter just from an idling perspective. And even in general, the propeller is quieter. So takeoff landing, you know, the commuter noise impact is, is significant. Um, and as I just found out from having a, a, a brief flight in it, then we're allowed to fly significantly lower because of that. Yeah, well, yeah, of the city. Yeah, you'll get much favorable kind of you know noise. We're talking about noise complaints around airports. This is a major way to alleviate that. And the last one is cost. So for that hour of flight that you get out of this, it's about five pounds or you know seven eight dollars for a full charge. In normal aircraft, you know, we're talking about $100, 100 pounds for, for that fuel. So that cost benefit is another reason why it's making things more accessible for, for, stu for student training. And what are the things that are coming down the pipe that you expect to see or hope to see that would increase the utility of electric aircraft like this? What would make them more viable than uh, for, for applications beyond pilot training and maybe into passenger uh, transport? Yeah. The big thing is going to be about energy density. So, you know, the... the uh, batteries we have in here that's about a quarter the size of a Tesla, but about a similar energy density. Right now, we're seeing kind of in the laboratories, uh, you know, we're getting to about double that. So as those energy densities get commercialized into more commercially available batteries, or as they start to get more efficient with the engine casings, so how they actually store the, the, the batteries inside the aircraft, that'll make this a lot more power to, to weight available. Now we might be talking about, you know, two hours of flight or three hours of flight. And now we're in a much more, you know, mission capable aircraft. Um, you'll notice there's no lights on this aircraft. You know, there's no air conditioning, no heating, no glass cockpit. So uh, you need those things, I think, to get a little bit more functional as well. But with a higher energy density, you could add those to the aircraft.